weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. First off, thanks for having me, guys. We're gonna do uh, a warm up that I use, and then we're gonna work some technique, a couple other positions, then we'll go live, and then we'll we'll get together at the end and uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, that mindset that coach was talking about. is the guy will try to uh, spin behind and the bottom man's just gonna reach up for that underhook, right? And now we're gonna scramble. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring one hand behind and block behind the tricep here. Here, and now I can go. I can chase ankles, I can chase the legs, or I can just chase the waist here. And there's my takedown. Okay. One Put your, put your weight on It's more uncomfortable for him than it is for me. Good. Good. Now just drive. Keep driving. You can just drive right up. Yes, it's it. It sucks because when you keep this, it's, it's compressed. You can throw it ahead. You can throw it away. Oh, TD's got it. So I'm gonna go almost like behind your arm. Yep, and then I'm gonna pull it across. Yes, oh. good. Much better. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes. Yep. Now you Punch it, you want to set it, right? You don't want to, you don't want too much, you just need a little. I knew that you were going to punch it. Alright, so that's a poop. Yeah. Right? Left. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Always, I always want to get those eyebrows working. I want my eyebrows in his collar. Feel? Yeah. Feel that in the onion? I'm not going to stop it. Like there's gonna be a lot of times where I don't want to wake up and, and drill my single leg, right? So having knowing your goal and keeping your goals in the center of your mind and, and staying focused on that is gonna is gonna motivate you. Aspirations of being, you know, a state champion, 
uh, an NCAA champion, you gotta have a single leg or a double leg. How cool is it having him here with your class today, your Pretty team? Cool. Yeah? Great. Got it? You tell me that. Woo! Yeah, thank you. I'm Keith Marshall. I'm one of the assistant coaches, and uh, just really appreciate Andre's thoughts on everything. Like the Q and A was awesome. Like talked about, uh, you know, like his losses and like how he how he uh, responds to them and, and things like that. I thought that was great for the kids. Okay, thank you so much. Kyle Packer, head coach for Shawnee. Anytime you get a high-level athlete, high-level professional in here, giving the kids, um, looking to see what, you know, all that hard work and that dedication uh, pays off to, and, and giving them a goal to, to set, uh, whether that's in wrestling, whether that's in uh, their future academic work career, but looking at what that hard work and success is, is great to see. And, and Andre was the epitome to that. Thank you, sir. Joe Robinson, assistant coach. Uh, it was great to have Andre in. Uh, the kids already look up to him, they know who he is. So to have somebody like that come in, uh, and it was such a sound session of wrestling, you know, which is a huge part of your game. Um, but the kids picked up a lot of little details and we said success is in the details. Um, so th those are the pieces that people put things together with and the kids definitely benefited from the session today. It was great to have them in. Absolutely, thank you, coach. Uh, Andrew Fiorentino, assistant coach. I think it was great just having him reinforce kind of whatever what the coaching staff says like every day, hearing it from a guy who's doing it at the highest level possible. And uh, then when he talked about nutrition and how important it is, because as a teenager, sometimes their nutrition might lack and he kind of reinforced just focusing on nutrition to make sure you're at the right, worked out your body at the right spot.